Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, October 24th, 2021, on the Drunk Pope Root. His beer time. Week to Halloween. There you go, eh? You got the kids there. You got the Halloweens. You got the, the, the costumes and the candies and stuff. That's good. That's a good thing to look forward to. Do you know, you, ever, you go to work some days, and you're like, you know, after this, it'll get slower, or everything will get easier. It doesn't. Today's eight-hour shift turned into an 11-hour shift, because it's beer time. From our friends at Gateway City Brewing comes one of my favorite beers from them. 503 Dark Rye Lager, 5.1%. Uh, we went up to uh, North Bay and Sudbury last week, and what a trip it was. We got to hang out with all the folks at Gateway City, and it was quite fun. I encourage you to do the same, or you can order for delivery to your home. I have talked about this beer before about a year ago, but I thought it was time to revisit it because it's been a year. I like to revisit beers after a year, you know, even make another video because it's fun for me. I'm drinking it anyway, so I might as well talk about it while I'm doing it. Again, look at that color, that dark, that kind of amber, mahogany type color. Looks so beautiful. And I know we're not supposed to use the word malty. That's what I learned in my beer schools there. But it's a malty smell. A very sweet, caramelly, dark, uh, Let's go. Cheers to Gateway City. Thank you for brewing fantastic beers and being such kind hosts. We really enjoyed ourselves there. We, we will be back in the summer for sure. Cheers. Okay, that's my first sip of beer today. After a very, very long day. Like my shift went from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. It was busy. It was like family day or something because everybody was coming in in families. Like, families? I've been thinking about this beer for like the last four hours. And specifically this beer. Um, it has a really wonderful texture to it. And that's one of the things I think I like about it. Is that it is not a thin beer. It, it, is, it is a beer of substance for 5.1. Um, it has a lovely caramel front. Um, it's that bready, like rye bread crust on the front end. That's so tasty. And then there is this nice... Um, bitterness and rye spice on the back and I think there's very few breweries that use rye and I think there's very few breweries that even you know could attempt it and Gateway is one of the ones that can and they do it very very well this is an excellent beer and I, I think that it, this would be if I lived closer this could easily be my go-to Sunday drinking beer because it really it's not quite a Sunday beer because I think it's it, it's a Saturday night beer too but this would be the beer I would just sit and drink all night. Like if I was sitting in a bar and they had this on tap, I would just be like pint after pint. Can I get a pitcher? Remember, do you think they, they don't have pitchers of craft beer? That's weird. It's really good. I don't know. I just want to share that because I think it's important. And their artwork is very cool, by the way, too. I don't think we talk enough about that. I think it's one of the highly underrated parts of the brewery because their artwork is very unique and breathtaking and awesome. So lots of good beers from them. I hope you have a great Sunday. I am off tomorrow, so I am going to have, oh, a couple tree beers tonight, and things are going to get a little lit is all I'm going to say. So I hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Cheers. I'm opening the other can. <laughs> we haven't had dinner yet. Papa needs a couple pints.